We offer an adhesive and Velcro kit for customers who don't have holes in their bumper and don't want to drill them. First start by cleaning your bumper. You want to make sure that the 3M Dual Lock Kit has a clean surface to attach to. You will want to start this project when you are sure you can leave the plate on the car for at least 24 hours, so that the adhesive has time to set. Don't worry, if you change your mind in the future, you can safely remove the 3M kit without causing damage to your bumper or paint. Next, put the plate inside the frame. First remove the bottom strip by pulling from the center and then removing the ends from the frame. Put the plate inside the frame by sliding it up from the bottom of the frame behind the tabs. Then press firmly on the bottom of the plate until you hear it click into place. Now put the bottom strip back on the frame. Start by inserting the knob on the end of the strip into the slot on the edge of the frame. Repeat on the other side, sliding the ends of the strip into the frame. Finish by pressing on the center of the strip until you hear it snap into place. If your bumper is curved, you'll most likely want to bend the plates and frame to match your bumper. To do so, gently bend the frame on your knee. Repeat as necessary until the plate and frame match the curve on your bumper. Once you are satisfied with the shape of the plate and frame, it's time to attach the frame to your vehicle. You'll want to mount the 3M squares where it has the most contact with the frame. If you mount the squares on a spot on the frame with a lot of holes, the kit will not stick nearly as well and may come off. Now just peel one side of the backing and attach it to the frame. The adhesive is pressure activated, so be sure to press firmly on the squares when attaching them to the frame. Repeat for all squares. If your bumper doesn't allow for five points of contact, don't worry. It should still hold just fine as long as you use at least three. Now remove the other half of the backing for all squares. Before attaching the frame, take your time to line it up to the center of the vehicle. If you make a mistake and try to reapply the frame, it will not stick as well, so be sure to try and get it right the first time. Remember to firmly press the plate onto your vehicle so that the adhesive can do its job. Once mounted, do not remove the plate and the frame from the vehicle for at least 24 hours to allow the adhesive to fully set. That's it! Now you are ready to show off your new Euro plate.